Hey guys, uh, today we're gonna show you how to install Ubuntu 13.04. Uh, that's the wearing ringtail ISO. I've just made a bootable USB and booted through that. Uh, check our description for the download link to the ISO as well as uh, if you want to learn how to create a bootable USB. Mm, I suggest you all go always go with try Ubuntu option because if there are any errors on the USB you will come to know it right away otherwise I don't guess you want to know it after you've done installing Ubuntu. So we select try Ubuntu and we're done. So okay this looks pretty much the same actually uh, only that they've changed the icons um, I suggest you remove your network connection because uh, otherwise Ubuntu will start installing updates which will elongate your installation time so uh, when you're done installing Ubuntu you can reboot again and then install uh, manually that's not a big problem uh, I'm gonna select the first option on the dash menu that's the install Ubuntu option select your language here and go with continue uh, if you want you can check and install the third party codex but uh, I'm not gonna install it because I like VLC more so you can go with that you can either select erase disk and with uh, and install Ubuntu or something else I'd go with something else um, go and make a new partition table and uh, with this I'm going to create swap space. Swap is basically an, an extended RAM also called as virtual memory. If you're a computer student you might be aware of that. Uh, this the, the, the file system of this is swap and uh, next I'm going to create is uh, home and then root. So okay, let me create root first. So I'll create 10 GB of root. The file system would be ext4 and um, uh, home would be pretty much the same. If you're gonna uh, install a lot of packages, make sure that your uh, root is big enough. And if you're gonna store a lot of videos, pictures, music, or documents, so make sure that your home is pretty big because all the packages are stored in root, while all the files, are the the user files, are stored in home. Uh, here select your country for your uh, time currency etc and select your keyboard layout um, the main portion is pretty much done so all you've got to do right now is select the user and password and username whatever so the computer name username the password confirm the password Again, right now you can select uh, login automatically, which will not require your password. Uh, otherwise, you can ask the computer to ask for your password before you log in. So I'm just going to go with login automatically. If you want, you can also encrypt your home folder so only you can access it. And well, the super user. It doesn't take much time from here if you don't have the internet connection. Um, that is why I told you to move it. Uh, it is not a big deal when you when you're done installing it. You can actually uh, you know reboot and boot from the hard disk and install updates. That is, I mean that's what I consider to be better. So This is over, it'll ask you if you want to restart or watch, so go with restart now. 
as soon as your computer screen goes black uh, be sure to remove your USB because otherwise it will boot from the USB again so you don't want that to happen so just remove your USB and it will start booting from your hard disk that is the operating system you just installed uh, there will be a pink screen you just select the first option and uh, then you're done so we just click on restart now and it restarts we select the first option from the pink menu let's uh, open Ubuntu basically So we've finally installed Ubuntu and we are here on the desktop. Uh, we just unlock this from the launcher or eject. I'll go with eject to remove the uh, CD. And then uh, I see they've updated the icons a bit. The dash icon is updated. Uh, the folder icon, the, 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 that's the home icon, is updated. So here I open the home. I see the icons on the left are actually changed a lot. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe.